I would like to uh, introduce our team here. Uh, here is uh, Professor Wu, Wu Yongjie, Dr. Wu, he was our operator. And I'm Dr. Yang from Fra Hospital. And another assistant is uh, Dr. Tang and uh, Dr. Song. Song is, uh, have just uh, come, from, uh, come back from the United States. And our great team is here. Here is uh, Professor Wang, cardiac surgeon. We have an uh, excellent team and uh, an anesthesiologist there. And our nurse and the technicians and our uh, micro stop, uh, micropod stuff, uh, VARP stuff here. And uh, nurses here, technician here, and uh, our team is here. Excellent. And, and what do you have for now, us today? Uh, I would like to uh, Dr. Song to tell the story. Yeah. Hey, uh, good morning. Uh, sorry, I can't see the, the presentation. Yeah. Uh, good morning. It's my, been my pleasure to uh, present uh, the, this patient. This is an 82 years old uh, female from China. Uh, with a short of breath, with restricted exercise for one year. She felt uh, fatigue in daily activities. Was diagnosed, diagnosed severe aortic stenosis this year by TTE. There is no previous myocardial infarction, no cabbage, no PCI, but she has proximal atrial fibrillation and previous stroke. Uh, the NYHA classification for heart failure is uh, three to four in, during the last two weeks. The STS score is uh, 21.7. Next. Uh, from the echo, uh, we can see this is a trike speed valve. It's consistent with the CT. Uh, the, the area index is 0 0.3. The main gradient is 86. The LV uh, and the diastolic diameter is 51. The ejection fraction is 55. And from the CT, we can see the diameter of the annulus is uh, 19.3 over uh, 24.8. Uh, the parameter is uh, 69.6. Uh, uh, the sinus is, uh, is not so big. The, the main sinus diameter is uh, 25, and the height of both coronary artery is over 13. Uh, we can see uh, the ascending aorta and the LVOT is feasible for tower. Uh, for the excess, we can see uh, the left side may be better because we can see calcification from the right side of uh, external iliac artery and the uh, uh, right iliac artery. Uh, next, please. So this is a strategy for this patient. Uh, with monitor the local anesthesia plus sedation, uh, cardiopulmonary bypass standby. Uh, we, we are going to use uh, transfemoral access, predilation with 20 balloon, and with a new uh, Chinese uh, local valve, maybe 24. After that, we are going to, uh, to do imaging and hemodynamic evaluation. Thank you. OK, so the, yeah, let uh, Dr. Wu introduce this, uh, this, this valve, new valve. Yeah, yeah I'm mean, Dr. Wu. So it's uh, um, Professor Park and the web and uh, other the panelists, uh, good morning. So now I. The just the, the briefly uh, introduced uh, this uh, the China local products is the called the vet, uh, vet flow. So it's the it's the from the, the micro company. So this is uh, the process is is the similar to the core valve. It's the self expanded processes, but it's the uh, it's uh, in some aspects uh, it's the different from the core valve. And uh, the before the uh, before this the processes uh, the first the China uh, the products is the called uh, the Venus. So yes. the first uh, the registry with uh, the Venus is uh, totally finished. Um, but uh, this is uh, the second China the local products. But it's uh, compared to the first China local products, is uh, uh, at the bottom of the the processes is the after, after the skirt. So it's the it's the. It's a very typical of this, uh, uh, is a characteristic of these uh, uh, processes. And the radial force is uh, similar to the Venus. And, uh, but it's uh, the top of, uh, uh, the, the, of these processes. So the, the, the frame is, uh, is, is, is very, uh, it's is not thin, it's uh, just uh, the, the five to six, uh, the, the, stain, uh, the, the frames. So, and um, but now, so this uh, we have uh, uh, 
in, in China, totally China about uh, the five to six uh, the medical centers. So now, up to now, we uh, we have finished about uh, the 19 cases. Yeah, okay. And uh, next. Uh, so I would like to introduce the, the delivery system. So the de delivery system is the totally diff uh, the different from the other the, the, the products. So this is the, the, the electro uh, the driving. Uh, the, it's a, it's a dri electro driving. And uh, the profile is the 16 to 18. But for this patient, uh, because the, 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 the right, uh, the, right uh, the, the femoral artery is uh, relatively small, at just at uh, uh, the, the, the alic, the, the alic the segment. It's uh, also catch by it. So the little, I will show you the, the, the picture. Uh, the, OK, okay. Next. So according to the, the measurement from the CT scanning, so for this patient, maybe the, 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 the vital flow, uh, we, should, uh, we should use the 24, maybe. So the, before we, we implant the, the, the vital flow processes, so we will use the, the 20 millimeter balloon for the <clears throat> for the pre dilation and uh, the balloon sizing. And uh, so next, maybe the, now I show you the both uh, axis. So originally, so we will select the left side, because the left side is, uh, is, uh, is bigger than the right side. But uh, unfortunately, uh, just as the puncture side is uh, it's catch, it's catchified, so the proglider is filled. So now we move from the left side to the, to the right side. So right side is the main axis. So now it's uh, uh, the, the, the big sheets is already the, in the, the right uh, the coronary arteries. Yeah. Femoral artery. Okay. 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 So okay. okay we are ready uh, for the uh, valve, uh, valve crossing, crossing, uh, crossing valve. We are ready. Uh, main access the radical femoral artery. So this is going to go through an 18 French sheath, is it? Or is it sheathless? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a 16. 16. So 16. I, maybe I can show you. So that, uh, uh -huh. I, I, I show yeah, you the, the left, uh, the right side. Mm -hmm. uh, and next. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. so you see the, the, it's very, the, the, very the calcified. segment is very catchified. It's very catchified. So why? So I originally we select the the the, the, the left the left side, but <laughs> the left left side the puncture side is, uh, is catchified. What type of sheath is that? Is it a okay. is it is it a microport sheath or are you using an off the shelf sheath? The sheath is also the the from the uh, the microport. It's a, it's a new sheath. Hydrophilic. Okay, so and in China, in the most cases, we we use the, the Ablas two, the diagnostic, the catheter. So it's because it's in the most of cases, the Asenia uh, aorta is. Uh, I see the big. the pacemaker is from the neck. Does that mean you're going to be leaving this in for a day or two? Day uh, one, day uh, one, day day two. We, we, then we so it'll to come, the, the pacemaker will stay program. until tomorrow. Probably. Hmm? Yes, yes, yes. Is that a hydrophilic wire you're using? Yeah, it's the cook, the cook, cook wire. So I'm not sure if, um, anybody has been getting access using ultrasound because sometimes in the femoral vessel calcification, 
location. It's very difficult to know from CT and so forth. We've been doing access now, and ultrasounds oh, yeah. clearly finding the vessel. Finding the I guess we do that. We we really never give up because okay. of calcification with the probi, okay. because right. I think with directed um, puncture, you can usually get. So in this together. case, uh, the I think that's helpful. the wine for delivery is uh, it's a safari. So now a safari wire is going in. Yeah. The safari wire just goes directly. Many people use a pigtail to put the safari wire in place. But you don't have to. The so most so important thing is that the safari wire is a curve within the cavity of the left ventricle. So I, I take it if the wire is going from the neck and being left in, there's some, some rate of heart block that is above 10%, or what sort of rate of heart block are you seeing? How often do pacemakers need, be, need to be implanted? How many? No. There's uh, no pacemaker for the last 10 cases. But, but, but the, the, for the Venus A, I think 20. But this one maybe. Venus A is 16. Uh, 16, 16. Huh? Venus A is 16. Yeah. But this uh, micropod and the valve uh, here in Fuai, we didn't have. So this is the blue, is the 20 millimeter. 20, yeah. yeah. But it's, a, it's, a, it's moderate, and so in our center, so this calculation is not so severe. Okay, the PCR. Okay. okay. Oh, no, stop. So it's uh, very catchified. Stop, stop. Very tight. Very catchified. Yeah, very tight. Okay, so now we try again. <coughs> so, uh, then it's not right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Maybe I can inflation slowly? Yeah, so inflation slowly will be better. Okay, PC on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, stop. 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 Oh. So it's just. So, so. Mm. Stop. Interesting, huh? Yeah. So, well, in it, this situation, it, usually we use so uh, nucleus below. Uh, uh, it will be uh, non compliant and uh, better for Yeah, so this fixation. is the blue so, uh, uh, so, this is blue also the. So, sleepy, the, huh? the, the macro part uh, products. And before we use the, the new new man, new man balloon. But this balloon is the uh, is a, so it's, a, it's but for most of the cases, it's a, it's a good, okay. But for the, the for the very okay. confined, uh, the we try. So try it's again. a dynamic it's stable. So we try again. Maybe it's a deeper a bit. A little deeper. Yeah. Okay. That's a little deeper. Oh, it's too deep. It's too deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now the PCR. Uh, I know, but I just cannot check it. I just cannot. PCR. Okay. Oh, you, you. Sorry. Sorry. Why? 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 You better use a smaller balloon first and then increase up to 20 millimeter balloon. What if, uh, what if the pacing, uh, what, what if so the pacing I, uh, late uh, during the inflation? So you may need a little bit, you know, fast uh, pacing and uh, put the balloon in uh, during the inflation, right? Rapid, uh, could you tell us how, you know, 
Okay. What is the number of uh, pacing during? It's, that's pretty good. It's about 180, okay. 200. Excellent. Oh, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> probably, probably good enough. Yeah. 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 Completely open. Yeah, yeah, probably it's enough. We should try again. Um, she's, uh, she's tolerating the pacing well. The blood pressure is still good. But I think uh, it's, it's, it's very good by the so it should be the, 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 the should be bloom totally. Uh, I'm afraid in for the, the product is, uh, it's not enough. So maybe the positioning for the, for the processes is still a bit difficult. Yeah. Yeah. But the last uh, bloom dilatation seems to be uh, complete, but uh, we should uh, do the final blunt dilatation again, just to confirm that. And uh, so, the, the dear the panelists, uh, can can you give us some uh, suggestions? Yeah. Do you, so the panelists, so do you think the, the smaller blown can be tried? Okay, so maybe we can try the 18. Yeah, so we take out. That was a 20 millimeter bloom? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is a 20 millimeter. We're very so change the 18. The smaller. Can you see the final image? Because I guess the 20 millimeter balloon was fully expanded. Can we replay that last inflation? Yeah. Let me see. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a probably we enough expansion. But so maybe we should use a uh, bigger balloon instead the, of the smaller lead. one. So the product is very important. So the annulus is around 22 maybe, something okay, like we, that. We should just confirm that. The same as the CT. Maybe yes. it's one <laughs> From yeah. CT. Yes. Blum? More blum? Please. So the, according to the, to the measurement from CT scanning, so the, uh, maybe the 24, 24 <coughs> millimeter pro, uh, the width of blum. What size balloon is this? But, but, but now we will find 18. It. So this the change 18. Classification is, uh, is very, very <coughs> tight. So maybe we should change Maybe we should change uh, the, our Monogram. strategy. Maybe the smaller, maybe, maybe 21. Mm. Are you agree? So why is it necessary to dilate the valve? Um, do you do that in every case? Because many people with Evolute and Sapien are, are not dilating. Oh yeah, I I so, it, so this is this is eighteen. Nigga, <laughs> yeah. Mm. But uh, but uh, from um, I think this can confirm that uh, the it's too small. No, I'm I'm afraid because uh, this is too codified. Uh, I'm afraid uh, the, the 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 the. We are concerned the about the, we concerned by, by the that. positioning of the processes. In fact, it's, uh, it's not totally open, mm -hmm. so it's very it's difficult for the for the positioning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The safari wire is working very well for you. Yeah. Okay. The valve is ready. <coughs> Yes. Yeah, you, you see the, 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 the bloom, the 
the 18 the bloom is a, it's a movement. So that is not a totally the body. Yeah. So they prepared the 21, the 21. Uh, uh -huh. the if you if you uh, need uh, okay, presentation, yeah, uh, 24. Uh, what do you think? 20 of, you know? bar again, no? If, if okay. You, yeah, okay. Yeah. If you we'll need, to, to uh, if you need a presentation, we'll twenty milli bulb is uh, okay. Okay. dry. This, okay. Yeah. This time. Twenty twenty two twenty two blown. Yeah. We we will use the twenty two. Yeah. This. The You're taking a twenty two <laughs> blown. Actually, time to show twenty. Wait a minute. But it's the twenty. It's not twenty. Yeah. This is twenty. 20, 20 this is twenty, 20 blown. This is the twenty. Now the the plane is twenty blown. Uh, Dr. Yang, this is Alan Yang. So, is this required by the company to really dilate it to that higher size, or, uh, or you actually could deploy the valve first? Uh, no, no, not really. Actually, this, this uh, according to our uh, previous uh, experience, and uh, especially uh, Chinese patients, you are very calcified uh, in the valve. So we, before we d implanted the valve, we should. Uh, Usually, uh, pre-dilatation uh, completely. Mm. Yeah, so it's the, for the for the very very catch by the the, the valve. Uh, the, so the you have trouble so you have trouble it's positioning it's the valve unless it's well it. yep, well dilated. Yeah, to help right. in positioning. Especially because severe. because the is not totally open by the balloon, so it's the no it's not enough space for the for the for the processes. So mm -hmm. when uh, the, during the releasing. The processes, so the, the, the processes, so always the, the diving to the left ventricle. Diving or jumping out. What do you, what do you think question? about the risk of um, new one, new one. stroke to, during the multiple balloon dilation? So, uh, so Dr. Grube, for instance, uh, for we example, uh, recommends not to predilate if the you know, uh, very area is uh, not tight. So, what do you think? Is there any increased risk of a stroke? Or that is uh, uh, not, not to consider? No, you are so <laughs> repeating the dilation. I, yeah, maybe the risk of, uh, is the, is the, the risk of the increased. Yeah, because of... Uh, In the uh, recent uh, Lotus uh, cohort no, bro, yeah, yeah. Yeah. analysis, uh, pre-ballooning increased numerically instance of stroke. Uh, oh, that well, is well, not uh, well, significant well, because of low frequency, well, but well, numerically well, increased well, stroke well, instance. Well, You'd better implant valve first and then efficiently dilated due to heavy calcification. You have a chance to do a post dilatation. Oh, is okay, that because okay. the okay. radio force of the device is Already? not enough, and uh, maybe you were under under expansion in this situation, and making the post dilatation crossing the balloon difficult? I guess sometimes the price you pay for not pre dilating is more difficult crossing with maybe embolization and stroke with that, and maybe more difficult positioning. Uh, because there's so much stenosis when you're positioning. So in some patients, I think it helps to predilate, but the trend is towards less and less, isn't it? I'm just uh, talking about the metal in this device seem to be less than that of the core valve or other devices. Mm -hmm. So maybe the radio force is not enough. So It's hard to know. You know, when, with Portico, for instance, we predilate more commonly because I don't think it's, it's radially strong. With uh, Sapien 3, we, we pre-dilate only when the valve is very, very tight, usually not. And then in core valve, there's a difference of opinion. Some people pre-dilate and other people don't. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But one thing's clear, if you don't pre-dilate, you're more likely going to have to post-dilate. Yeah. But I think I think the the valve is well dilated no, now. We, I don't I don't think I any think more aortic injections yeah, are yeah, going to yeah. help I with the sizing. We have a size already. Um, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. So it's the twenty. <coughs> yeah. You need to check it out. So twenty one or twenty four? Twenty four. Okay. Okay, uh, 24. So we decided to uh, put in 24. Okay, 24. I think uh, the 24 is. Hey, I assume you have oh, to. Oh, yeah. well, what the panelists the, the, uh, suggestions about the how big size of this? I'm assuming you have to oversize with this valve. So with the CT area. Uh, You'd surely need a 20. If, if, but if choosing okay. between a 21 and 24, you'd surely need a 24. Is that what you're choosing? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you, John. Could, could we have a look at the handle with the camera, the handle of the device? Yeah, of course. Because people, yeah. people are very. I know. know. The handle of the camera. Yeah, this is very similar to the Centera with the electrical deployment. Very unique. Yeah, here's a button on and off, then backward and forward. The advantage is this that you have very close tolerances. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a very refined uh, delivery. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oops. Wires pulled out <laughs> right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, back. Can, can we see the blood pressure? Right here. Okay. Yeah, blood yeah. pressure is uh, about 100 over 40. It would be interesting yeah, to see if the blood pressure falls during deployment. Okay. So now we make the, the double, double, double <laughs> as per. Uh, that was just the wire, I guess, causing activity. Okay, 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 great. Yeah. That's yeah. okay. So you align the camera to be perpendicular to the valve? What? About? To the ring? Yeah. Uh, so uh, as the blood pressure is, uh, is stable, so we're going to do double S curve to make sure which is best for the projection plane. So this is the technique um, developed by uh, Nicola Piazza. Or he's getting both perpendicular to the yeah. implantable yeah, yeah. valve and also the native <laughs> valve. So but because the piazza yeah. is the fractal, fractal for, for this, uh, this yeah. is the trip. It's okay? Yeah. yeah. What about... Uh, is the device recapturable or... What? Re recapture is possible? Uh, Reshoots and re recapture? No, yeah, it's a part... part. Partially. So partially. Partially. So we can recapture a little bit, but not totally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. 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 Are you calling? Like, uh, no, objection. Objection a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's back. Yeah. It's back. Okay. It's back. So maybe the picture. Maybe uh, it's just the picture. 
Ya. What is the uh, height of this, this the, marked segment? Should we start in this uh, the view? Picture up, okay. Okay, moment, moment because. Uh, um, so according to our limited experiments, so the, we start the race at, uh, at zero level. Oh, just a little bit, uh, two, centimeter, uh, two millimeters lower. Does it tend to descend into the ventricle as you deploy it? Okay. Yeah, okay, now it's a zero. I think uh, almost a zero there. It's so uh, almost a zero. We should have started. Release. Yeah, maybe we, we can start. First, we should have slowly, slowly. Mm -hmm. It's automatic. So, so is the ECC shows uh, LVVB, and this patient is high risk of uh, implantation of uh, pacemaker. Huh? The devices should be uh, at the beginning should be slowly. Don't hurry. Yeah. Now look at the, the valve a little bit darbing there. She does not seem to. Move. Yeah, it's very simple. Yeah, You're just pulsating the motor, I see. Okay, yeah, go. Very slow. Yeah. Yeah, the motor is at the beginning should be yeah, very slow, yeah. How much of the valve can you expand and still retrieve it? One centimeter, two centimeters? Yeah, one. I'm not totally sure, but it's uh, uh, started to open slowly. Uh, 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 I think it's okay. The positioning right now is okay. Okay, so so we should wait. It's perfect if it doesn't move. So we we should wait. So now is the pressure. So is is pressure pressure is good. So you see, and now is uh, is uh, is probably it's not a totally. It's the. Uh, it's not open the distal. So that means the catified is ah, it's very difficult. Several yeah, very, very difficult. difficult. It's like it's still a very no, no. stenotic wait. valve. Wait, uh, we just wait, wait. Wait, 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 should wait. Yeah. Sorry, we have to wait. We should wait. If it's not the open, so we maybe we should recapture. So we. We should make the prayer that is again. You see? It's really just not opening up very well. Oh, it's not very, a okay. very calcified. Valve. Yeah, not not opening up. You're so I think uh, we we should re recapture recapture. In the commissure. Yeah, we can recapture. But it may just overpower that if you keep going. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Oh, you can now it's better. What well, I can do now? Blood pressure is beginning to no, fall a little uh, bit. No, so you 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 say it's not uh, it's not open. 
Yeah, so the, why I, I insert? So should cap, should cap, 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 yeah. Okay. Just the pro, huh? Yeah, blood okay. pressure is going down. Yeah. So at this point, the blood pressure is... Can I... Hmm? The cap, a little bit. Cap, Juma? 70. Position is too Yeah, I think we should, we should take... Uh, cap, Juma? No, I cap, it looks like it'll pop up. Capture, capture. We should try. Capture. Yeah. Is it possible? No, no, no. No. No, I should have, I think we should take out. And Okay, let's get the gas. Okay. 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 It's a deciding alpha. So it can't be can't be recaptured at this point. The motor can't recapture. Yeah. You have to know, almost no. So so we should uh, in place. I think we, we so now we 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 re, re, yeah we release release okay in place just uh, release in place yeah. Could it not be pulled into the sheath? No. Hmm. Okay. 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 So what's the next? Uh, so it's the take out the, yeah. the delivery system. So 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 yeah. 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 If you were passing a wire up to do a coronary angiogram, you, you could go through the struts. Okay. What's next? So I think uh, we, we should uh, uh, make a production. <laughs> it's, it's a post step. I mean, for us non-engineers, it must be some combination of the, you know, the shape memory, all that stuff is not easy to sort of figure it all out, meaning exactly the right strength. Maybe it can, this is one clearly doesn't have much radio strength to expand when you're inside of it. I mean, it's constrained, but it really wasn't expanding it up at all. Yeah, I don't know how it compares to yeah. Corval, for instance, yeah. in terms of the radio strength when it's just beginning to be inflated. Okay, take uh, it's uh, that's uh, our shot. Uh, huh? So now we take the L time graphic and to check uh, the recognition and also the, var, var uh, the whether or not uh, the, the injury by the, the processes. Uh, even, all right, this is almost the same, you know, the delivery system with okay, the cobalt. No the first uh, and the still unresolved uh, issue is kind of a coaxial theory, right? It's not so good in terms of uh, annular plane and the uh, delivery, you know, system is not so, you know, parallel. Uh, that is the first option. And second yeah, one, I, I actually we don't the need too shallow, yeah. you know, shallow uh, placement of a device. As, as we need uh, some, you know, appropriate depths in terms of a uh, distal part of the device. Also, Mm. I, I don't quite understand because the valve, I think, was very well dilated. Um, so I would have thought it would have spread the commissures and expanded. Yeah, yeah I think uh, it's the part of the dilation. Is, uh, so I think uh, it's the, it's the part dilation is the, it's the, it's the very, very important because it's not the total open. Uh -huh. So it's, the, it's no space for the, for the valve. Yeah. Ex expansion. So the question is, do you go I back? Know, and, but I think if we continue, uh, 
uh, I think if we continue the, the type of uh, processes, so we should make a productization again. Do you change it? And, uh, Are you agree? Should we downsize in the bar box? No, 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 it's, a, it's not. So I'd, I'd wonder okay. about okay. either redilating or, or yeah, perhaps yeah, right, because uh, this is new a new man. valve, yeah, thinking okay. of a more yeah, traditional so valve. Okay, yeah. So, so open. So now we we will the dilate. We dilate again. You'll dilate again. With 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 what size yeah. balloon? It's the twenty. Twenty. Maybe twenty or twenty. 20. 20 followed by 22. But uh, I think it should, uh, should totally the open bar balloon. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I think th I think that uh, play before pre dilatation. Uh, you need to uh, dilatation uh, proximal of uh, barbell is narrowing. Uh, I need. No? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Down. Down. So it's a, it's a 20, but I think uh, now this time it's, a, it's a open. That's, that's fully expanded, I think. So we try. Downside. Downside. Yeah. yeah. OK. Mm. I think this time is OK. Was that 20 millimeter balloon? Yeah, 20, 20 millimeter balloon, yes. And uh, we will decide, uh, we decided to downsizing of the uh, st uh, the, the, the bar to uh, 21 millimeters because uh, calcified is too severe. Mm. See, I wonder if you just implanted it deeper, uh, at least you could balloon expand it. So, so maybe we, we, we go back to the, our presentation. Mm. So can we reveal? I, I don't know. Can we re reveal the, the CT scanning? May have more yeah, radial yeah. force. Can we can we back to the CT CT scanning? Yeah. CT nineteen and twenty. Yeah, right. Yes. So let me let, let me reveal the the CT scanning again. But uh, but uh, from the the so upper right uh, the 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 corner. So it's the catified. It's a, so it's not so catified, but but it's already. It's, a, it's yeah, yeah. So next, please, we can see the calcium volume, please. Next, next, next. Yeah. So the total volume of HU eight hundred and fifty is uh, one hundred and sixty. So uh, it's not uh, very calcified. But, uh, but in the last uh, several years, uh, we already have uh, the two or three cases. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's not uh, totally open. OK, it's not uh, totally open. So and uh, after the, the, the blown dilation, we transfer to the cardiac surgeon. And uh, so, uh, so the, the, after the chest open, so we find the 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 catified is uh, is uh, the leaflet is very thin and very catified. So the sometimes it's the CT scanning is uh, not a totally reflect the 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 the, the leaflet catification. Ready? Twenty-one centimeter, millimeter, yeah, millimeters. And now we we. We will try the 
the 2021 pro 21 bar. Yeah. So you're yeah. going to try a yeah, smaller, yeah. Okay. But, uh, smaller by the flow valve. But actually yeah, the yeah, smaller. perimeter derived is 22, so maybe 21 is too small. Yeah. And the area a, was 350 and the area of a 20 millimeter circle is 3.14. So it'll be, uh, this will be about 0% oversizing. Yeah. yeah. Now, if it's if it's uh, too small, I guess you can still put a sapien inside it. <laughs> Make it bigger. Do you think it's really any advantage of using a motorized uh, release? Um, I don't know how that's designed. Is it just really pulling back, or does it give back some to sort of a, like a, a clutch almost, like you know, so that? So it we lag? we had what, experience what the, with yeah. the we did the first in man with the Centera device yeah. almost five years ago, and I think I think the advantages are uh, right now theoretical that you can have very tight tolerances. Mm -hmm. You can have catheters that incorporate metal elements in them, and it's a it's a more controlled um, system. Uh, Possibly. I mean, when we move into other technologies, we typically been able to build things out of metal rather than soft plastics. But I think it's still the infancy of this sort of system. But you can build very powerful motors as well, uh, and with metal components, so you can retrieve these catheters theoretically. But I think there's still uh, some time to go before they're really mature. I think in the future you may see more and more of these, but. Now it's still very early days. So is there a, a default to go manual if the motor bro breaks uh, that you can actually do? Uh, well, with the Centera, we've not really had the motor break because, it's a, first of all, it's a detachable handle. Mm -hmm. So you can just pick up a new uh, handle with the Centera and put it on. With this device, it looks as though the it's handle is not yeah. detachable. Yeah. So if there were a problem with the motor or the battery, uh, I, you would need a manual backup. The Centera doesn't have a manual backup. Change the handle. Yeah. Just change the handle. So I assume that's maybe the issue. But it's a bit like a screwdriver, and electrical screwdrivers work very well. You sort of have a variable torque, how much you need to pull back and measuring distance. So some way to be intelligently pulling it back, not just. I think potentially that, that, yeah. that doesn't mean that the new systems will work as well as electrical right. screwdrivers, right. but right. but there's a, a rationale for it. Yeah. Okay. You can see it looks as though the handle cannot be detached and replaced. And there you can see that final sheathing is manual. Yeah. He's actually s stretching the sheath manually. It's interesting they've they've gone with the best of a lot of systems. They have bovine pericardium rather than porcine. It's a little thicker, interestingly. I don't know if it's anti-calcified. They have open cells at the top, which is a bit more like a portico than a core valve. I believe the bottom is a little bit flared like the Centera, at least in an earlier version I saw that was. And then it has an external skirt like the Sapien 3. So they've taken, I think, the learnings from a lot of different valves and combined them. <laughs> they are almost ready. Yeah, it's ready. Ready. With the Centera valve that you saw earlier, one of the differences they have uh, bovine leaflets, but they're not treated with. Uh, sitting in glued or aldehyde like most valves are, they're, they're incorporated with the silicone so that you just have to flush them with one 20cc syringe and they're ready. Whereas most valves you have to wash the glued or aldehyde often. It's a bit more prolonged. Uh, also with the Centera, the valve was pre-mounted on the system 
Hmm. Uh, or in this case, it's it's like more like core valve or portico. But I think it's a very good concept. So I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid oh. that uh, it's, oh. it's not easy to cross. Uh, I think it's okay. the the progress wrong. Well. <laughs> but, okay. but but uh, maybe we can we can try. Yeah. The frame is too. Ah, uh, if if it's not uh, it's not easy to cross the the progress wire, so maybe we can use the balloon to dilate the the, the, the distal part. Maybe. I think okay. no problem. <clears throat> no. Okay, so we always ready. Is ready. Yeah. The 21 millimeters valve is ready. We try again. I think the question was about the outflow of the old valve, but it, it, it should oh, okay. just move okay. aside okay. Okay. The, okay. as long as they don't pull the wire back and have to recross the valve. It should be okay. Not true. Not true. Okay. It's moving. It's moving. Not mm. Oh, yeah, I Ca caught the sail and the pass through the sail. Get caught. So I'm I'm afraid if I the moving will injure the, the yota. Maybe you should use snare to put it down. Mm -hmm. Just try to and fro. Snare. It looks like maybe you can okay. make it. Okay, yeah, it's Yeah, that's Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. You really don't want to pull that pigtail back though. All right. Go ahead, Okay. The pressure is good. So we have time. Yeah. So I guess we're putting a wire in the pigtail just to help get it around the arch yep. without pressing on the old valve. Let's see, it's a Okay. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> it's the back. Yeah. 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 29 30 29 2 
Okay. Picture uh, the the injection. Okay, we can start. Okay. Yeah. Let's start. Mm -hmm. As the beginning, as the beginning release, we should be slowly, slowly, wait, wait. Sometimes it's keep waking long. Injection. It's a little deeper than last time. Okay. So it may have more rate of strength with yeah. that. So but it's still still fairly compressed. I'm afraid the jam. Light touch on light. Look at the AI. And the pressure is good. AI, uh, look the at the is low. Look at the pressure is uh, too. Pressure is good, but the pressure is low. Yeah, it's not going to be low. Do we still have one tab attached? Still not released. Maybe we need the fluoro out there. Oh, yeah, so nice uh, the echo. But uh, I, I should take, uh, take out uh, the lift. Yeah, it's good to have the floor. Okay. 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 Yeah. It's a very high implantation. You find it? Oh, you go to Oh, you go to Tasia. Or go to Tasia. 
포스터를 대신하시면 이제 포스터를 아, 포스터를 대신해 비시 오케이 해 줄래 So now I go show that uh, have the massive uh, a severe AI so we need a post dilatation I'm just concerned if it's too high that dilating it may be a problem If yeah. post dilatation may elevate the frame further thus I'd like to check the orthography to see if there is certain kind of infrastructure regurgitation okay, or through parabola leakage. Yes, it'd be nice to see an aortogram. Okay. Aortogram. Yes. Uh, so uh, Dr. Wong and uh, his uh, cardiologist, uh, he will tell us uh, the, what's uh, the finding from the echography. So, yeah. So there was a, yeah, the moderate limitation. Uh, moderate, moderate AI. Uh, the uh, moderate, moderate. Hello? 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 We can't hear the echo. And it's the audiologist. Uh, there's nearly moderate regurgitation from the uh, inner well, uh, I think we, not the parallel uh, well. Uh, color flow from this uh, the moment. Can I see uh, diastolic pressure? Can I see uh, diastolic pressure? Can you hear? There's yeah, a lot of it. Uh, AR. Pressure much better okay, than before. I, I, now that's what version is 55. 55. Yeah. The sector side, uh, yeah. the device is moving up. Especially during release, uh, rapid deployment in the later phase. Mm. I think the blood pressure is much better so than before. So the aortic valve was just. Uh, uh, 2.5 uh, uh, millimeter per second. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to be perpendicular uh, to the valve, uh, the implant, I because I think we're about 20 degrees off. Because uh, this is a broader uh, uh, the valve is this, uh, valve stator. You can see the valve stator was very high. Uh, just uh, uh, 5.7 millimeter per second. That's a caudal 30, maybe too much. Yeah, it's that, it's that, it's that. The purchase one is better. Yeah. The, the, the audio gram, yeah. Yeah. Have the audio. Yeah. 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 Okay, maybe we... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 20 degrees less. So, cold. but now it's the diastolic case. Uh, it's better. Much better. Yeah, yeah. 55. That's what we're getting. Above was 60 millimeters. Can I go back to I think uh, mm? with the continued expansion, I think uh, no, no, no. Yeah. 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 will be better and better and smaller and smaller. No. no. I think that from the photo we can see that uh, that the uh, that the valve is uh, fully expanded right now. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we will we, we, we will have the we will measure measure the uh, the hemodynamic uh, parameters and then we have the audiogram. The diastolic pressure is much better now. No, no, no. 
So the the Eckhart, uh, the doctor uh, Eckhart was tell us so uh, no, that no. the aortic regurgitation have small, just the trivial right now. No, no, no groin. Uh, look at the no gradient and uh, LV uh, and the ductal pressure is okay and the aortic uh, ductal pressure is also okay above the 60 millibar mercury. Now I think we should have the uh, aortic gram uh, to show. Uh, what's uh, happening, or, or what's the severe, uh, what, what's the extent of the AI? Maybe travel. Yeah. 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 No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ready. It's wow. This is this small. is the aortic uh, angiogram. Yeah. Look at the, the just just a small travel. I think just the shape of the valve was not correct just uh, a moment ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this time, the, the shape of the valve was quite good. So uh, quite good. So because it's uh, it was time. Fully expanded. So it's, it's so time. It is, it is a really valve. fully expanded. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, also because severe calcification, so it's uh, it's difficult, also impossible to uh, movement uh, anymore. I would say that uh, this is uh, stable there. Right. Well, so what, what do your panelists uh, have any suggestions? Looks like the leak is, is mild we'll now, here. and the valve is relatively well expanded, and it's a little high, so it'd be yeah. reluctant to dilate it. Would would people want to dilate this? It's no. too risky. I'll probably leave it alone at this point. If people think it should be left alone. Just remove the so picture from uh, LB and the one second okay. autograph. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, so, sorry, after sorry, remove sorry. Uh, uh, this uh, yeah. picture over there. Okay. Another oh, photograph, maybe, maybe this way. Yeah, okay. so from different view. Almost. Yeah, it's just, still the, triple, the, just the triple. Just the triple. Just the triple. Triple AI. And then uh, uh, I think the left is, uh, yeah, left alone. Fully expanded. Any concerns about the coronaries with the valve being this high? The skirt seems close to the right coronary, for instance. Yeah. Yeah. It, there's good flow now. Uh, but fortunately, we can see, it. yeah, the in right the, coronary is clear. In the LAO, uh, could we see the LAO no. aortogram again, or the, the caudal aortogram, just to look at the right coronary? Area. Oh, yeah. The previous aortogram. Oh, yeah. Let me. We'll look at the right yes. coronary. That's back. Mm. Okay, no problem. Well, it's okay the now. Aerial. Yeah. Into no problem. <laughs> yeah, the right coronary is very big right. and also very clear. Yeah. So it looks like you have a good result now. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is already the... Yeah, the we finished it. Yeah. Any, so any, maybe, any thoughts maybe from the panel? I can, any I, comments? I tell, um, What's the, the height of the valve? Yeah, what, people are asking, what is the height of the valve? Is it about 50 millimeters? Height of the valve? 48. 50, 48. 48. 48 of the valve. It seems like the lowest is quite, um, millimeters. it doesn't like the flower, so obviously I've only seen N of 1, it's kind of hard to know how does it behave in less calcified valve, but it doesn't seem to like the flower until it releases to at least half before it opens up. So maybe uh, Dr. Young and Dr. Wu, it, when you put it in a less calcified valve, does it tend to like core valve open up, flare up more, or does it kind of constrain until you're kind of halfway up before it kind of opens up uh, as one unit almost? Um, so that's seems like the observation here is that it's constrained until you are pretty much high up in terms of the sheath removal. Uh, I don't know the design, is it that way or is it just because this patient had very calcified valve? Yeah. Uh, actually, we, we, we have uh, several, uh, just uh, two cases. One case is jumped out. The, 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 first, uh, the first generation of the previous uh, venous A, venous oh. valve. We have one case, but this one because I have the skirt, so we, so it's difficult to jump out. So we don't concern about this. So that's why this valve should be uh, 
positioning at the zero level or a little bit just one to two millimeters lower. Uh, so this is uh, unique because of the skirt's uh, design. So I, I think for this patient, if the blue dilation is not, it's not totally the dilation, mm -hmm. uh, so I think we should stop the timer. But uh, we, the, and finally, we use the, the 20 millimeter the new the balloon to dilate. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's open. The, so I don't, I don't think we, I don't think and we've before seen. Before we have uh, one or two, uh, one case. Yeah. I don't think we've seen the skirt design or the inflow of the valve. How is it, how is this inflow or skirt different than, than uh, Evolute, for instance? Does there is an external okay, skirt? Uh, you should, uh, can you show? Find the light. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Like in in for like the. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but, uh, you, you look at the inflow. I, I think that the, the lowest uh, pressure uh, have uh, have expansion, have expanded. The, the diameter is uh, at the bottom is uh, larger than the than the valve itself diameter. Look at that. That is a skirt. So it flares out. How long does it uh, the skirt beyond the yeah. inflow yeah, design? Yeah. Okay. So we analyze. Uh, maybe we we have another half hour for. So we will have another another case. Yeah. Uh, another case is ready. Should we go there? Excellent. Sounds very good. Congratulations, then. Okay. Well, go. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. See you next case. Thank you. Thank you. Ever change the place? Oh. Uh, good morning, everyone. And uh, uh, this is the second case, and we uh, we will show you a tricuspid valve. Uh, patient will go to uh, do the travel procedure, and this patient, yeah, this patient is uh, 83 years old, female patient with sharp breeze for two months, and uh, restrict exercise and fatty in daily, uh, daily life, and the diagnosis with uh, severe AS uh, by, T by TTE. Uh, and the patient uh, has got no privilege uh, inter uh, intervention or surgery. Uh, she has got uh, uh, severe COPD. Okay, next one. Uh, the patient has got diabetes, hypertension, and uh, the heart failure is, is extremely high. Uh, extremely severe in these two weeks, and STI score is about 15.3%. Uh, okay, next one. Okay, next one, please. As we can, uh, we can see from the echo, uh, this is Chakaspeed valve patient with severe stenosis, and the mere gradient is about 41 millimeter, uh, uh, and uh, the EF is about uh, 59%. Uh, we can see from the CT, the patient has the tricuspid valve, and the diameter is about uh, is about 20 by sorry, 20 by uh, 27 millimeters. And uh, the uh, super analysis, we can see there is a, a moderate to severe calcium in the left lid, and both sides of the femoral artery is a good access. But, but we choose uh, the left femoral is is it's more more. It's more good. Okay, next one. Uh, so Australia is uh, uh, use the MAC and the transfemoral access, the left femoral, and the predilation with 22 uh, millimeters long, and the tally with uh, 24 or 27 millimeter with the flow valve. Okay, thank you. Okay, Doctor Doctor Wu, Doctor Wang. Actually, I have two. You know, yeah. notice so we have just only ten minutes more uh, for the transmission. And so, would you uh, summarize yes. the brief? Yeah. You know, case how would you do that or something okay. like that? And so. Okay, strategy. Yeah. Don't worry about the strategy. So maybe we can we can go back to the to the to the 
for the slides. So, but this patient is um, so different from the last one. So it's the back, back, back to the to the to the CT scanning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, uh, so this is also very very uh, severe catching <laughs> bite. Yeah, but uh, this patient is. Um, uh, so STS is uh, more than it's, 15, it's very high. Fifteen. It's a fifteen. It's very it's very high. So it's uh, the patient is also very very sick, but uh, from the CT scanning and uh, the calcification is uh, is is also very very severe. But we don't know, <laughs> we don't know the 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 blown is difficult or uh, or easier. But um, maybe the the first we also make the the pre dilation and to check. The, the severity of the calcification, and uh, according to the to the to the to the blown dilation, um, uh, so we were uh, decided to select the the size of, of processes, but um, according to our the limited experiments, so um, so maybe this uh, this patient, the the processes uh, should be the twenty maybe twenty twenty four. Yeah. Sometimes a uh, uh, CT scan looks at a very severe uh, calcification. Maybe bronchitis is not so, not so difficult. But uh, sometimes it uh, looks less severe uh, calcification, but it's difficult, uh, like a previous one. Yeah, but uh, yeah. it's it's similar to the to the coronary the coronary calcification. Yeah. Yes. So the from the coronary angiography, and sometimes we find the calcification is very severe, but it's 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 very easy. To be dilated with yeah. the balloon, yeah. but sometimes it's, uh, the calcification is not so severe, but it's very difficult to open. Yeah. So, so it's very difficult for the for the for the for the for the stain. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> so, yeah. oh, this uh, this machine actually is a GE GE machine, new 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 machine. Yeah. Ah, seven, seven, uh, seven, seven, seven thirty. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this is a new G machine. New G machine. Yeah, yeah. looks uh, fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, in our cast labs. So this is uh, the the cast lab number number one. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> I think uh, in order to answer the question, so what is the view of the? I think we we should use the 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 balloon uh the the pigtail to adjust the the adjust the wire yeah the wire okay yeah, it looks like the wire is <laughs> down at the apex <laughs> it's in the LVOT a bit wire is in no no it's balloon, balloon, balloon. we adjustment of the wire then have the balloon dilatation first yeah. Uh, to see the how severe of the calcification is. Is this a safari wire again? Yeah, yeah safari. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, 10 minutes. This is 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, pacing. No, no. Pacing. Like. 
Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay, so. Easier. Yeah, <laughs> compared Looks to the first one. Yeah. Compared to the first one. Looks severe, but actually not so severe, okay. not so difficult. Like, like, like five more lines. Okay, Dr. Young. Is that ready? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, uh, I, yeah, I, I, I'm a little bit afraid that we yes, have... I, uh, we, yeah. Yes, we have very limited time, uh, three minutes, and so uh, we've learned a lot from your cases. And so would you yeah. summarize, <laughs> summarize the, uh, what the you know, characteristics of the micropod, uh, you know, new device okay. and... Uh, for Tabby, so pre-dilation is important, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Would, you, would you summarize that? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I will say something like that. Uh, for the micropod, uh, the new domestic viral, very important for, chan for Chinese patients, uh, you have a severe uh, calcifatic uh, valve which are pre-dilation completely. Then this uh, valve have uh, three uh, characteristics. Uh, one is uh, actually a skirt design. Uh, so uh, another is uh, uh, automatic uh, electronic uh, drive the releasing, and uh, another bo uh, bovine valve. Ah, very, very important. Uh, I, uh, according to our limited uh, experience, this valve is uh, very good at uh, positioning for positioning because accurate positioning is very important. Uh, another is that uh, you don't be concerned about uh, for any of uh, AI or uh, regurgitation. Because of skirt design, we will see the majority of the regurgitation. The third one, I would say that for the severe stenosis, uh, uh, severe calcified uh, aortic stenosis, uh, we should uh, downsize, downsize the, 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 the valve. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Right. Yeah. So for severe calcification, uh, pre dilatation completely, and downsizing, uh, downsizing of the. Uh, mm -hmm. The 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 the, the valve is very important, mm. essential. Right. So, in the uh, 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 I would say that, let the, I, yeah. I, I would okay. say like this. Let the Dr. Shibuya. Yeah. Right. So I didn't That's realize it. you are right. <laughs> Hello. I, I want to congratulate you. Mm. I'm sorry. I, I I will come to I will come to you this afternoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, I want to thank you again for your kind invitation. Actually, uh, any uh, wealth life case is so important for us. I think uh, it's a great opportunity, not only for Fuel Hospital, for AP Wealth. I think our collaboration will make the TAVR program much better, even, uh, I think, uh, next year we will make it even bigger. What do you think? Great, all right. Anyway, thank okay. you for uh, you know session. nice presentation and the very uh, educational you know demonstration, and we're gonna see you next year too, right? Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Fascinating Bye. case. Bye.